So today in Red Dead Redemption 2, we're going to help out Hosea, and we actually uh, return some of that nice little liquor that we got, that moonshine, back to the Braithwaites, and things don't really turn out so well. <laughs> but on our way there, we run into some more uh, people dress up like ghosts. Well, what do we got going on over here? We got some more people dressing up as ghosts. Oh, you want? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you want to go again? <laughs> you remember what happened last time? Oh, 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 oh! Righteous. Oh, okay, okay. Are are you? Did you go for your gun? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you're trying to use your knife and whatever. <laughs> that was hilarious. I'm sorry. Oh, letter to Pa. What does that say? Um. I'm doing great, Paul. Dear Paul, I'm sorry I left the house in such a huff. For that I must apologize, but the thing is, you are wrong. No offense. I simply do not care what Jesus or anyone else says. I am a student of science, and as such, and having read a lot into the subject, I have to assert my position again, that commingling between races is not really wrong, but also dangerous. Okay, so this guy is yeah, just gonna babble on about how racist he is. Ah, gosh. Do you guys have anything? Can I loot you? This thing, like, this would not have killed them. I mean, maybe this guy, because it's on his throat. But this guy, I don't think, unless they put nails on, like, the side of it or something. I don't know. Strange. Where's my, there's my hat. Ooh, hold on a second. Did he have a... Oh, volcanic pistol. Now I can dual wield volcanic pistols. Oh, sweet. Thanks, buddy. Dude, that guy did something, you know, not, not on purpose, but he did something that helped me out. All right. So, yeah, ran into them again. Not sure if I'm going to run into them multiple times, but each time I'm going to try to... Uh, it's just funny how the game handles it. I enjoyed it. So, <laughs> anyways, let's go help o Hosea. All right, Hosea, what do you got for me? Whoa, I didn't tell my horse to do that. What's going on? Is there like a snake or something? Why did my horse just freak out? Anyways. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Oh, uh, so we're selling all of this moonshine? I guess back to the moonshiners? People that made it? Oh, man. Alright, heading to the Braithwaites. Alright. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like the Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. I don't know if you want to get in the middle of it. I don't know, two powerful families feuding and you guys get in the middle? That doesn't seem right. All right. Here hey, we, we got some moonshine. Little homestead, isn't it? This moonshine we definitely made ourselves. What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. 
May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. All right, cool. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Wouldn't they know that this was theirs, though? Because I thought they were the ones. They were working with the Lemoyne Raiders, I thought. What in the world? The giant, like, architectural teacup thing? What in the world is that? That's weird. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor? I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, I, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. Why was she fine? So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Oh, that okay. A thousand for them. I wanted more, but not that considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. This could get ugly. You, you don't say. Thing going on in town is the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. I think it shouldn't be Arthur doing this. I ain't playing dress. Because you know the sheriff's going to recognize that. Arthur. You're, not. You're, you're a clown's idiot brother oh, there, please. i'm the clown you're the idiot just <laughs> what sad and keep quiet even you can do that arthur oh, i have to uh, <laughs> put this hat on <clears throat> smoke this pipe bring your lip forward just a bit squint and oh perfect what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but it, the sheriff is going to recognize me. What? Fitten, there, there. Don't get mad. Fitten. I like that. That's my new name. Fitten. I still think the sheriff's going to recognize us, and then all that work we did with the sheriff building up trust is going to be undone. It should be somebody else doing this, not Arthur. <laughs> oh well, maybe the sheriff won't be here. Maybe he, yeah, who knows. All right, see how this goes. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Let's take a look at Fenton. He doesn't look like an idiot. He needs to come on, Arthur. You need to do a little bit more. You need to do a little bit more. Gentlemen, gentlemen, 
Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys... How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. <laughs> so I guess they were standing guard or something? Oh, this is not going to go well. Oh, jeez. Arthur, look look a little dumber. Come on now. I'm here. What are the bar down the corridor there? Oh, oh, okay. He wants me to go over here. Okay. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. My name is Milk. That's my brother Fit. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Ooh, is this come gonna on. be like a little mini game? Do I have to do something? Uh, raise glass, raise bottle. And there we go. And serve drink. Serve drink. Oh. All right, come on. Gotta do this. And serve drink. Bam. I can pour like. Oh, there we go. Raise, pour. And there we go. Serve. It's dark outside, apparently. The lights just all turn on. I thought we were only here for 30 minutes. Yeah, look at this. It's it's night. It's dark. <laughs> 30 minutes only. <laughs> it's a long 30 minutes. Hey, send a couple this way, will you? Bam. Like a drinking man. Come on up. Old Sheriff Gray is gonna be so mad. <laughs> He's gonna blame the Braithwaites. And then old Dutch and Arthur are gonna come in and help them get those delinquents, probably. Oh man, keep them coming. Oh, get out of here, Fenton. Moines Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get them. Okay, <laughs> good thing Finn can shoot as well. Uh, oh man, okay, I forgot these guns shoot faster. They're they're more powerful, but they definitely shoot slower. All right, reload. I'm gonna dual wield. How did? It... Okay, there we go. There we go. You're you're gone. That guy's wearing a brown headdress thing for some reason did he start calling me arthur don't do that man you're blowing my cover all right like upstairs i'm coming i'm coming i'm a coming melvin don't you worry don't you worry your pretty little head i won't let mother i won't let mother's favorite child die okay give me a sec melvin jeez Come on, reload my guns! Oh, I shot him in the thigh and that killed him, okay. Shot you in the hand, that killed you. Man, these guys have weird weak points. Oh! Melvin! Melvin! Yeah, there you go. Gotta stay in character. Go, go, go! Can I switch to... no. Hmm. Got more coming after us. Aha! There we go. I see them. Well, 
Oh, yeah. Reload my guns, please, Arthur. What was that? I didn't catch you. Bullet got your tongue, I guess. And you're dead. Oh, one shot. All right, there's a dude right here. Oh, they're on their feet. They're, we're going to get away from them. All right, let me start using some dead eye. Okay, you're dead. There's a dude way over there. Ah, the mountain got in there. Or the hill. That's an explosive barrel. Yeah, I saw it. And, of course, the train saved us, as it always does. Or, okay, we're still killing guys. Never mind. Uh... I hope we're not wanted. Are we going to be wanted? We're not supposed to be doing this in roads. Dutch is going to be mad. It's going to be so bad. Okay. All right. My health is getting low. You just start using some dead eye. Oh, gosh. What did that guy have on him? All right. I think we did it. Never to take up a career. What was it? Advertised. Yeah. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Arthur didn't have to do any acting, really. Most of that was... So, what do you think? Jose, uh, About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Oh, man. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them... Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Dutch is getting a little too greedy, man. <clears throat> Goodness. He's, I mean, he's doing stuff that's... Pretty crazy. Could could destroy pretty much everything that we have. Um, what I would like to try to do now is head over to Black Bell. I think she was 
one of the gunslingers or something like that, that that guy like a long time ago, a lot of episodes ago, was wanting me to try to interview. And it's been on my map for forever. And I've just never gone up that way. There, And now all I have on my map is, at least right now, is main missions. So let me try to do this one and uh, see where this leads. Ah, here we are. She's like in the middle of this desolate marshland. Gosh. It's not very secluded. I mean, anybody crossing that main bridge is going to come this way. I don't know. Maybe she's not trying to be secluded. Maybe she just, you know, wants a nice place to live. Easy now. All right. Let's see if we can find her. It was Bonnie or something like that. I don't want no trouble. Hopefully I don't have to kill you. You there. Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well then you done led them boys here and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I ain't running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell! Ooh. I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Walk into Stop our just like trap. Now. Set it off. You're done, done, dead it is. How many guys are there? Why is there always a bunch of them? Okay, there we go. Okay. I think I'm using my, uh... Oh, there's, there's no cover here. Yeah, this is my... Maybe I should use my bolt action, because I got more ammo for it. That guy's hiding behind something. Okay. Oh, man. Hey, they've got a Gatlin. Not anymore, they don't. They call me Arthur Shooter. All right, how about we blow this thing? Shablu. Oh, okay. Wrong, wrong way. Oh, I thought that was a dude. Oh, maybe she took care of those guys. All right, let's go. Oh, they've got another guy. <laughs> Unfortunate for them, Arthur Shooter's on the job. Oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. Anybody else? Is that the last of them? Yeah, you got them scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. You should move so, locations. You gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that live that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Oh, oh she is leaving. Were they like them? Those days, they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Well, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. <laughs> uh, ready? How do you want me? Like uh, this? 
Uh, yeah, that looks good. I like that. Uh, okay, focus lock, take photo. Okay, I got it. Then I guess they'll be on my way. There. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> nice in those old cameras. They got focus lock and probably had some pretty nice depth of field. Wow, it's interesting. Yeah, the uh, the technology they had back then. Well, time for me to loot all these guys, get some good stuff. So far, all of these guys have had a decent amount of money on them. I mean, not like a whole lot, but most of the people I loot, they'll have like 25 cents, whatever. So far, all of these guys have had a few dollars on them at least. Oh yeah, see, like a dollar fifty, and they have these platinum bonds, which I assume are probably going to be worth a good amount of money. Well, we are closest to uh, Caliga Hall, where John Marston is. So let's go ahead in that direction and see what we can do with the greys. Hey, over here. Oh, over here. it's that guy again. Oh my I'm gosh. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gonna. Please. This is the third time. All right, where's where's the? There you go. Thank God. Oh. Unless these are all different people. So yeah, I bet. I. I wish I could give you some money or. Well, you know, I might have something of interest. A fellow on the chain line jot on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, he keeps a lot of money stacked away, dead south of Rhodes, on the river. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Is that the same guy every time? Guys, let me know in the comments, or is it a different stranger every single time? I don't know. I don't... I want to say it is the same guy, but I don't know. Maybe it's not. That would be hilarious if it is the same guy. Okay, now on our way back to John. Finally here in Caliga Hall. All right, let's see what John and them need. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. I assume they mean through here? Okay, yeah. All right, out by the stables. I'm pretty sure I passed the stables on my way in. How would I not have seen them? I don't know. But they do seem a lot nicer. When I went to the... What's your Morning deal? Morning, oh, sir. you're like a gardener or something. I thought you were sad and... Hey, mister. Morning, lonely friend. or something. I don't know. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Callahan, my name is Arthur Callahan. Problem. Oh, John just wasted a family it. of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is we can't be seen to get too close. And we've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. So, are we stealing the Braithwaite's horses? 
the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Hmm, or is this okay, yeah, it's not it's not the Greys, because we're leaving their yeah, stables. Yeah, right there, it must boy. be the Braithwaite's horses that we're stealing and wrestling. Is it wrestling if it's horses? I don't know. I, I don't know. My old my wild wild west wink lingo is not very good. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. But they've seen me. They know what I look like. How does this work? Arthur should not be playing both sides, man. The Braithwaites know know what I look like. Careful. Oh There's man. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? Well, maybe these guys All don't. Right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. It's Someone will come see you. It's obvious that we don't belong here, because we said Mr. Braithwaite. There's no Mr. I believe it's just Mrs. Yeah. Thankfully, that guy's not very smart. <laughs> All right, let's hitch up here. Hitch your horse. Can I talk to this guy? Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here, you Scarface and your greaser buddy? Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Mm, Cerberus. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Stealth kill? Why can't I just knock him out? Why did I have to kill him? Greaser, huh? Why did I have to kill this guy? Don't need no Bandanas. I want Cerberus. Uh, okay, fine. I wanted Cerberus. All right, horsey, it's okay. Whoa there. Whoa. Good boy. Whoa. It's okay, buddy. We're just gonna steal ya. Okay. We're just gonna. You're gonna lead the stallions. Uh, lead him? Oh, calm, calm. Come on now, calm, 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 calm. It's okay. We're just gonna steal you and take you somewhere you don't belong. Come on. Can I lead you, please? Easy there, easy. Take it easy there. Uh, is the game gonna let me lead the horse? What the heck? Okay. I guess it took too long. Can I lead him, please? Thank you. Come on, buddy. Do 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 do. I'm like. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Seriously, feel like there would be people. What are you doing? Yeah, Let's go, that's what I thought. I knew there'd be other people. What the hell you doing? What 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 am I? What's my job? What am I doing? Am I am I following him? 
Uh, I need my guns. I'm I, actually I want my cattleman because it's got more ammo. What's what's the plan here? Are we shooting them? I mean, I don't really want a bounty. I mean, I guess I got my. All right, how good am I? Okay, not too bad, not too shabby. Guys in front. Got him, got him. I don't know if they would really be shooting. I mean, because do they want to lose their horses? I mean, I guess if we're going to steal them, then. Oh, man, more guys up here. Can I dead I am, please? Oh, that's a horse. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to shoot you. It's okay, horsey. You're okay. <laughs> Woo, man, that was intense. These horses are not... They, they would definitely would have bolted by now. For sure they would have bolted. Man. Well, it looks like we did it, potentially. Oh, no, 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 we did. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Reload my gun, please. There we go. All right, that one's going to run off. Shit! One of the stallions is loose! There we go. Easy! Come on. Let's go. I got the runaway. Dude, oh, he's a nice black stallion. I would love that horse. All right, let's go. Come on. Hey Morgan, over here. You got him. Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Hey, hey. Okay, these must be the buyers. Let's see. Can I release him? Yeah, is he gonna be with that one or no, I don't know. Maybe he's not gonna just run. Alright. Let's see if we can get some money, hopefully. What you boys want? Heard you was uh heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John. Arthur. Javier. So what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Yeah, we barely made any money on that. That was terrible. Terrible deal. And I think that's the same voice Lead actor. Yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. And imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. 
At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Hmm. I believe the guy that played Clive or whatever the other guy is, whatever his name was, the brother that talked was um, the same voice actor that played, uh, what's his name in the first Red Dead? The creepy guy that would always like dead people and he was, you know, all about, oh, yeah, and he would talk to him and all that stuff, whatever his name was. I think that's the same voice actor, which is kind of cool. All right, guys, well, that's where we will call it an episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next one.